My name is Herman Perez. I'm the news instructor here at South Coast Welding Academy. Today we're going to be doing a socket flange video. We got a 6 inch 150 flange and a 6 inch schedule 40 uh, already tacked up in 5G position. We got two tacks, one at 12 and one at 6 o'clock. We're going to take it all the way out. So let's get to it. All right, so for a socket flange weld, the method I use is wiggling the cup. I'm using a number 10 cup and I'm using 309 wire just to add some color in there. Now to wiggle the cup, you gotta apply light pressure. Don't put too much, because when you apply too much pressure, you start skipping. You'll start skipping forward. Don't try to force it forward and don't try to you know, put too much pressure. That's when you, your, cramp, your hand starts cramping up a lot. So you wanna just go along the joint right there just like so, and make sure you have a sharp tungsten all the way, all the way. Don't, don't have a dull tungsten. When you have a dull tungsten, it gives you a hard time controlling the puddle. So, keep it sharp. And for the root pass, I run it at 175 amps just for this. And after that, I'll probably crank it up to about 180, 185. So, let's get to it. So for root pads, like I mentioned, I'm running at 175 amps. I'm barely wiggling any side to side. So for this socket flange weld, I am using a number 10 cup, running at 175 amps. The machine I'm using is a Dynasty 250, or I'm sorry, it's Dynasty 280. For the root pass and all the other passes, use very minimal pressure when you're wiggling the cup. Coming up to the tack, wash over it. Now you can grind the tack a little bit, feather it, and then wash over it, but me, I just burned over it. Keep a steady pace, don't, like I said, don't put too much pressure. That's when you start skipping. Alright, so now we're starting on the fills. I turn it up to 180 amps and that's how I'm going to keep it the rest of the way. The wire or filler metal I'm using is a 1-8-309. Like I said, just to add some color in there. Other times I'd use 70 s 2 or 70 S6, but just for this video, I'm using 309. Stainless to carbon rod.
Okay, so now we're going on to the fill. Still at 180 amps with 309 wire, 18. With these slip-ons, you can keep the rod in the middle of the, of the weld and it'll still spread out evenly. Okay, so now we're working on our final pair. Still at 180 amps. Now, the thing I did change now, I don't know if y'all can notice, but I switched to a bigger cup, a number 12. The reason being is because it helps me walk it more easier or wiggle. So, I switched over to a number 12 cup.
All right, guys, so there you have it, soccer flange weld in the 5G position, a uh, six inch 150 flange and a six inch schedule 40 pipe, four passes, root, hot, fill and cap, take all the way out. All right, guys, so that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please remember to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also follow us on Instagram, uh, WeldTube, and South Coast Welding Academy. Hope you all enjoyed and have a great day. Thank you.